All right, here we go. This is going to be a look at Eric Thornton <clears throat> from the Fort Myers stud. I'm pretty excited about doing this one, actually. I've kind of, uh, I don't know, I've been kind of delving into some of the more underrated predators lately. You're just kind of doing that. I think Eric Thornton is, is pretty underrated here. Um, <laughs> it's uh, typical, I know, it's typical for me to say, but I, I do actually think this guy is pretty underrated. I'm going to do some more underrated guys, I think, coming up in this, this weekend or so. Um, but yeah, this guy's a weird, I don't really have a nickname for him. He's like that, uh, no, Predator. That's kind of like his my favorite line that he says, but I don't really have a nickname for him. He's just kind of... He's just kind of a dude. I mean, he's he's a bit he's he's definitely goofy. He's definitely weird. There's something off, I think. But uh, yeah, he, he he's 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 just kind of a normalish kind of guy. At least compared to some of the other guys that showed up in Fort Myers. I mean, there's a lot. There were a lot, a lot of weirdos that showed up in Fort Myers. So. Um, yeah, let's just get into it here. I got his raw footage up here. I also have his regular segment up here. Um, they left out a couple of things in this raw segment that is, uh, so we'll fucking switch back and forth. It'll, it'll work. It'll, it'll all be okay. All right, let's get going here. Yeah. This investigation in Fort Myers employed the most cameras we'd ever used. 13 hidden Thir cameras. We had one. 13? Ha, <laughs> shout out. Stephen Benoff. One hidden in a palm tree that could zoom in with enough clarity to read a license plate on a car that was yeah. down the block. Oh, what it is that? That's a Honda Element. Ooh, that's not a good looking car, man. That is not a good looking car. Um, yeah, I mean, you can tell this whole guy screams mid 2000s. I think his outfit is mid 2000s. His car is also mid 2000s. That's a horrible car, the Honda Element. Who actually bought those fucking things, man? They don't make them anymore. Uh, Honda Element. When did they stop making them? Tell me that they... Please tell me that they stopped making them. Do they still make them? No, they, there's no way that they still make them. What the fuck? Honda Element. This isn't interesting to anybody. <laughs> Put me... Yeah, okay. So they stopped making them in the 2011 model year. Thank God. This thing is... This thing is atrocious, man. All right, let's keep going. The driveway, Del... Is there anything I need to say, Chris? Anything that you want to say? I liked your picture. You like my picture? You like his picture. Okay. I'm not going to see it for real. Or he's in the archway. There he is. Making the <laughs> That's turn. That's a bit of an awkward uh, uh, scene, I guess, right there. It's a bit weird. I don't know why we needed to see that. We didn't really need to see that. But I guess that's kind of one of the benefits of seeing the raw doing it raw footage. I mean, you get to fucking see some things, man. All right, let's keep going here. Approaching the back door on the top step call out. I made some chocolate chip cookies and I left them on the table. Just take a seat. I'll be right there. Okay. The online decoy. And in terms of decoys, I think Emily, that decoy is, is pretty good. It's actually one of the better ones. Um, she's got a lot of, uh, she's, a lot more uh, into it, I think, than some of the other decoys. Like some of the other decoys are just are more worried about stupid shit, like like safety, right? Fucking hell, their main concern is safety. Emily, it seems like to me, is a decoy who 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 goes above and beyond, and and um, she's got some snark to her. She hates the predators just as much as we do. I think I genuinely think that. I mean, you remember? I remember seeing when she saw uh, Dennis Coulson's um, segment. She, she sees a picture of him and goes, oh boy, oh boy. And right away here, um, this guy, Eric Thornton, what the, I can't tell what the hell, is, what, what is going on with this guy? I can't tell what the hell is happening with this shirt. Like, it's, it looks like, it looks like he has a giant white undershirt or something on with an, and then an orange, another orange shirt on top of it. It's kind of like Dupay with the oversized 999 shirt and the huge sweater over it. But I, I can't tell if it's one fucking shirt or not. I can't fucking tell. Uh, the mid-2000s for fashion, man. They, that, that, was a, that was freaking wild, man. Oh, man. Actually there. He thought he was talking to a girl named Liz, and now Emily's got to play that role during her conversation. <laughs> I really like your picture. I can't wait to see you. 
Oh, this guy's so fucking crazy, man. This guy's fucking insane. Ugh. I really like your picture. I can't wait to see you. I know. Oh, no. oh my god. What are you doing, dude? One more time. One more time. I gotta watch it one more time. I really like your picture. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my, oh, my headphones almost came out. Oh, shit. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. This guy's just, uh, uh, this guy's just, I can't tell, I can't tell if something's off with this guy. He's like a cross between batshit insane and fun-loving goof. I can't, I can't quite read which one it is. I mean, this guy just has no personality or anything. He's just kind of, uh, uh, uh that's the way he talks. Uh, bah, bah, bah. And if you want to see how, he still looks fucking weird, by the way. Uh, yes, right here. Still looks fucking weird. I mean, it's not the best picture. It's a stretched out fucking picture. But he still looks like that, too. Like, you can't tell what the hell's wrong with this dude. <laughs> oh, man. This picture's taking 319, 28. Come on, we gotta get this shit updated, Florida. Come on. Ah, come on. I heard a conversation with him. I really like your picture. I can't wait to see you. I don't know. It is because of that conversation with the decoy on site that suddenly they say, okay, there is a real girl. Um, there's a potential of fulfilling this fantasy I have. And they walk in. What kind of alcohol did you bring? I brought Absolute Citron. I brought Mandarin Orange. I brought a shot of Jägermeister. I got uh, Butch. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I fucking love that. I got... Uh, Bush, uh, he's fucking trying to remember everything, but he can't fucking remember everything. He's like, I got some Bush. Uh. I brought Absolute Citron. I brought Mandarin Orange. I brought a shot of Jägermeister. I got <laughs> a single shot of Jägermeister. That line has always fucking stood out to me. It is fucking hilarious. Why the hell a single shot of Jägermeister? It's like a shot glass. Is that what he fucking brought? No, you'll see later. It wasn't actually a shot, a single shot. It was like one of those little, I don't know what the fucking, how many, how many ounces are in it or what, but, um, yeah, he fucking, he didn't just bring a single shot, but it's just funny to me. I like to think about, you know, a single shot of Jägermeister. I like to think that he just has it handy <laughs> in like a Ziploc bag or something. <laughs> But it's also really scary at the same time. Because he brought, you know, all he does, all he did is bring casually brings enough alcohol to like kill a horse or something. And it's really scary that he brought it for a thirteen-year-old girl. Like, what was he? Like, he wanted to get this girl blackout drunk. I mean, you don't even need all of that to get a thirteen-year-old girl blackout drunk. But um, it's just, it's, it's really scary that you know he kind of wanted to get this girl blackout drunk. And who knows what the fuck would have happened, right? Like, who knows? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> man, this guy's crazy, man. This guy's insane. Uh, Bush. Bush. No, wow. Wait. Did you bring condoms? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. He was prepared to have his little party. Well, with all that, it sounds like you've got a pretty big night planned, huh? Yep. Yeah. So what was your plan here tonight? You should have said, Chris, you should have said, would you like a glass of milk to go along with those cookies? Oh, man. Okay, so you can kind of see. Yeah, he is wearing two fucking shirts. What the fuck? You can kind of see it. It does It does look like he has a white t-shirt underneath this orange fox uh, shirt. So I, I retract my original statement then. Uh, mystery solved. Uh, put to, that brings up another, another set of questions. My question you know, will then become, uh, why? What? Why? Why do it? It doesn't make much sense to me. Um, yeah, he's got the fucking headphones coming through the thing. It looks like it's clipped on. Yeah, man, this just screams mid-2000s, man. My plan? Just to hang out. To hang out? Mm -hmm. Hang out with whom? Hang out with Liz. How old is Liz? 14, I think. 14, you think. And how old are you? Mm, 27. What do you do for Liz? I'm actually looking for a job right now. I got laid off from my last job. And what is your degree in? My degree is in hospitality management. Hospitality, hospitality management. management. So this guy's actually it. pretty, he managed to at least make it through uh, uh, college and get a degree. Um, 
So maybe he's not as stupid as he looks. I don't fucking know. Hang on one second, guys. I gotta let my cat son. He wants to come in. He wants to come in and watch T Cat. Hey, <laughs> you wanna watch Eric Thornton? <laughs> oh, look, he's coming over. You want? You want to come up? You want to come up? No. Okay. We'll just continue. We'll just continue. If you want to come up, you can come up. Okay. All right. Let's go. Their job in that field. Mm-hmm. It's always hard for me to understand how somebody who you know, makes it through college, gets to be in their mid-twenties, and has a good education, has the ability to get a good job, ends up just kind of lost uh, and trolling the internet for, for, for young teens. Hanson, you Hanson, it's not that simple, Hanson. Not everybody can be, you know, Dateline NBC, big shot reporter, you know? It, it's difficult. It's, it's some, and sometimes it's, it, it's a little bit, it can be a little bit difficult, Hanson. Not everybody who gets a degree means that they get a job right away, Hanson. I other, you know, like, come on, you're saying, you're saying, oh, well, you were going down the right path, and, uh, you know, you were getting your degree, you got, got a job, and then you, uh, <laughs> and then what happened? You know, the internet was so addicting that you couldn't handle, hold down a job. No, it's it's not that, Hanson. This guy could have managed a, a job and the internet and a personal life like everybody else in the world does. He just wanted a 13-year-old tail. That's what he wanted that there's something wrong with someone your age coming here to meet somebody who's 14? Yes, sir. And what's wrong with that? Um, it's against the law. <laughs> against the law. And he fucking and answers he, everything like a question. Like, he puts like something, uh, it's against the law? Yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, he's, he's answering everything like it's a fuck. like, and he answers it in the form of a question. Like, come on, dude, just say... Say it straight, man. It's against the law. No, not, 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 it's against the law. It's against the law. That's what you gotta say. You knew that before you came over here. Not really. But you know it now. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you to get here? From uh, Jupiter to here, oh. it, could, it took me, let's see, I left at three, probably about almost four wow. hours. Four hours. Yeah. Jupiter, Jupiter is in the middle of, I mean, Jupiter is on the other side of, of Florida, Jupiter to, oops, Jesus Christ, Jupiter to Fort Myers, I've fucking, fucking been there before, so I fucking know, yeah, it's just like, it's, it's on its own course, you know, it's fucking, okay, so it's calling it three hours away, but yeah, I mean, you're going from one side of the state, around whatever the fuck this is right here, to the other side of the state, it's a long drive, <clears throat> It's definitely a long fucking drive, and I don't know who the hell, what the hell, what, why, why, why do it? <laughs> there's no, there's no other girls in fucking Jupiter. <sighs> I guess not, right? <laughs> They're all assholes, I bet. <laughs> That's a lot to go through, just to meet a fourteen-year-old girl. It is. You got to be pretty dedicated. Dedicated. And so you guys are what? Going to have a few drinks? Hang yeah. out. Hang out. Watch watch a movie. Um, not necessarily have sex, but if if it came down to that, I mean, I know it's illegal to have sex with a mom. I want to make love to you. You say. Mm-hmm. She says, "Well, I never done it before, but only because no one wanted to." You say we can make love all night oh. long. Thornton. That's very. Uh... <laughs> I don't, I don't quite like your pickup game style there, Eric Thorne. Well, we could make love all night long. I don't really, I don't, I don't quite like that. Um, although maybe it's, it's better, it's perhaps better when you're in a chat room doing it as opposed to having it read back to you. It doesn't sound great when you read it back to you. I, I, I will say that. Okay, it's maybe, maybe it's not, <clears throat> maybe it's not bad, but. Uh, it, it doesn't sound great when it's being read back to you. All right, let's keep going. Looked a little lost in life. <laughs> and he's one of those guys who you can feel sorry for. But, you know, he made it very clear in his chat what he was willing to do with a young teenage girl. I want to show you something personal. She says, sure what? Well, it's something underneath my pants. Oh. I know you would die if someone found out you viewed it. <laughs> it starts with a P and ends in an <laughs> 
You know, I actually, I think I've only watched this Raw segment once before. And I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that line. Oh, that's fucking horrible. Where does, what is this guy thinking, man? It starts with a P. <laughs> it's a mess. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's so horrible. It's so great at the same time. Like, I fucking love that. Like, I love that I heard that. But it's horrible. Would that work? Would that work on anybody? Ladies out there, I'm asking you. <laughs> Would that ever work on you? I mean, please, I, I hope the answer is no. Oh, shit. Oh, hang on. Give me one more second. Guys, other cat wants to come in now. Give me one second. All right, we're back. Let's go legal to send something like that to somebody who you think is underage and he exposes himself and then he masters oh. and, 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 and you know that leaves a little uh, wound <laughs> Hanson, for... Hanson even crackles right there man that's fucking funny let's watch it masturbates and and, and, and you know that leaves a little uh... <laughs> Hanson show us some personality in here man Hanson's even laughing at this guy fuck you Eric Thornton you know it's bad when Chris Hansen starts laughing. It's like when John Dupay, uh, Chris Hansen laughs at John Dupay's pickup line. Oh, um, oh, what the fuck did he say? Oh no, I forgot what it was off the top of my head. Oh shit. Hang on, I gotta go find out. Hang on. Yeah, so so this fucking line right here, <laughs> this this reminds me of. I had to fucking find out. I can't I can't believe I didn't fucking think of it. Right here. And later you tell her, I would love to be the first guy to make you blank if you wanted me to, and I wanted to. Feel me inside you, baby. Has that line ever worked for you before? No. Then why did <laughs> you do that now? <laughs> there is, yeah, yeah, Hanson fucking I mean, laughs at his well, what am I to make of this? You know that you're so fucking lame when Hanson laughs at your pickup line. Also, I can't believe, by the way, I, I don't want to, you know, call out the fucking... TCAP community, but what the fuck, guys? Why does Buchanan have one million views, but this one doesn't? Uh, Buchanan's footage fucking sucks, man. I will fucking, be, I'll be the first one to admit it. He fucking is terrible. He's terrible. Dupay is the much better. I think Dupay is the fucking star of HVP, personally. But fine, you guys like Sokol so much, so fine. But just, just something that I've noticed is that you know what the fuck, guys? It's this fucking all over the place. It should be the other way around here. Come on. All right, let's get back into it. We're, we're here for Eric Thornton, of course. So let's just fucking do it. Legal to send something like that to somebody who you think is underage. And he exposes himself. And then he masturbates. And, 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 and you know, that leaves a little uh, room for guessing as to what, you know, his intent was when, when he got to the house. So this guy's a, this guy's a chronic um, <clears throat> masturbator. I think he does it multiple times in this chat. Like, he fucking shows himself fapping. Um, I don't know why guys think that girls would enjoy looking at that. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just I'm too much of a softy, and and I don't hang around with the right parts of the internet. But I just I just don't see first of all why you feel the need to send that, and then why you think anyone would want to look at it. Not even thirteen year old girl, but yeah, just every everyone. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some people don't don't. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm too much of a lame, I don't fucking know, but, yeah, it's fucking weird, you know, hey, here's a picture of me ejaculating, okay, great, thank you, well, what do you do, what are you supposed to say, oh, really nice, <laughs> fuck, I, it's, I, I, it blows my mind, you know, some of these guys, you know, just think, oh, yeah, you know, no one's ever wanted to see me, uh, masturbate before, but this girl does. This seems like a real... I bet you she's a real nice girl and, and that she's real and everything. But no, they're not. It's a fucking sting. You, there's a reason why they want to see it, you asshole. Are you addicted? I'm, I'm not extremely addicted. I, I am addicted to a certain point. Do you have a compulsion? Um... What was that? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Do you, have a, do you have a compulsion? Uh, what is that? Uh. Do you have a problem controlling yourself when it comes to meeting young people online? Yes. I have a, I have a, I have a problem with that, you know. And what have you done to get treatment or help with that problem? I've, I've went to counseling many, many times. 
stuff like that. So based upon the fact that you're here to meet a 14 year old, that counseling isn't working out too well, is it? I don't know. <laughs> First there's the porn site, then there's the chat room, oh then my there's God. explicit behavior online, and then somebody gets to the point where nothing will satisfy them except for this face-to-face -face meeting, and I think that's... That's just you know, Hanson. Thornton Dang, Thornton. Like, that's just ha again. That's just Hanson NBC fear mongering right there. You know. Oh man, it all starts with going on porn. It all starts with the chat rooms. It all starts with all this other shit, and that's what leads them down this down this road. You know. I mean, whatever, man. It's. I don't think so. I think you could put it. It's. It, it's not. I don't think it's all that different, honestly. But the only difference between you know a guy like Eric Thornton and the other predators is that. They fucking met a thirteen-year-old or an underage person, right? That's the only thing that's really honestly very different about it. I mean, it's it's the fucking mid two thousands in chat rooms. What else are you gonna fucking do except talk about sex? You know, I don't know. You gotta go deal with it on your own now. Yeah, because I am an adult. What's it gonna take? It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of patience and a lot of rethinking. I mean, you you know how this chat looks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were raring and ready to go. Well, I gotta tell you something. Uh oh. Don't do it. I'm Chris Hansen from Dateline <laughs> NBC, and we are doing a story on adults oh, no. trying to meet children on the internet. Mm -hmm. What you may not know is that everything from the time you drove down this street until now has been videotaped. <laughs> if there's anything else you'd like to say to us, We'd like to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to walk right out the door. You can't. Right. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Fuck you, raw segment. God, we forgot about his his words of advice. That's why I came fucking prepared because I knew that. Was missing How often? Shit. I want his, his advice that he gives is is fucking great, man. It's the stuff that you need to hear. It's like right here, I think. At all? Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, and his advice. No! Just ah, whatever shit. Whatever you do. Ah, fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Do, do not... Go this advice. Just whatever you do, do not get into underage people <laughs> at all. I feel... <laughs> I fucking love that. Do not get into underage people. I fucking love that, man. It's, it's great advice. It's great advice. Although it's not the best advice from a predator. Of course, uh, Matt Cogburn from Georgia gave the best advice, saying, Be careful. Keep your jeans in your jeans. That's the best advice that a predator ever gave. Nick Kochos said the same thing. You know, be careful who you're talking to online. It might not be the 13-year-old girl that you think it is. They, they said fucking great lines. Those are great advice right there. Great, Some great advice right there. I, I really do love that. From Cocos, so though, Cochos, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> be careful who you're talking to online. It might not be the 13 year old girl you think it is. I think you missed the lesson here, Nick. I think so too. Let's watch this guy get arrested. Let's go back to this, though, and watch it get it. Don't watch it. Here we go. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> They fucking oh yes oh, yes I fucking love it man these my, these Fort Myers cops are fucking ridiculous I fucking love it they fucking rush them from behind just for fun just for fun let's be honest just for fun they do that and they fucking are rush storming this guy like it's a <laughs> like it's a fucking war zone or something I don't fucking know they just fucking. Gang rush this guy, man. It's fucking so beautiful. You see this one... I don't know if this was intentional camera work here also. Where they have just this... You see the guy starting to walk away. And then all of a sudden you see like five guys all entering the frame at once. It's so... It's a nice director... Uh, a nice a nice cinematography. I, I can't fucking talk. Cinematography. A nice cinematography. By whoever the fuck was in charge of this. Look at this. <laughs> and the, one, the one camera guy! The one camera guy, too! Oh my god, that's fucking beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. The one camera guy trying to keep up with them. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's something I noticed too. The first time I watched this, it, it, it pointed, it came out to me. Dive, he has the spatial awareness, the mental awareness to dive into the grass. A smart move because it's, it's it makes for a nice soft or softer landing rather than getting tackled on this hard ass driveway. Oh, who's driving the fucking beetle here too? What the fuck, dude? Who's doing that? But yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Such an underrated arrest, man. In my opinion, I think that's so underrated. It's just, the shot is what makes it, in my opinion. Like, there are better arrests, for sure. I'm not saying that there aren't. But this this is just, it's so beautiful seeing the lead up, the build up to it. Oh, that's great. Watch it one more time. <laughs> the camera in the horrible shirts and the horrible shorts tucked into his uh his shirt is tucked into his horrible shorts yeah, that's beautiful too look at this <laughs> oh man anything right. sharp in your pockets no no let's play on some pump <laughs> It's fucking beautiful. All right, we're done. We did it, man. Eric Thornton. Oh, man. I didn't think I would get 26 minutes of footage out of this. I somehow fucking did. All right. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.